high school choir student taking her talents on the road. She was invited to sing at Carnegie Hall in New York and the Sydney Opera House in Australia. Fox 16, Suzanne Bruner shows us how my daughter is singing and earning her way to the main stage. Most girls will have like a diary. I usually was up in my room writing songs and playing ukulele. Taking center stage. Central High student Kate Kelly prepares for an opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> Writing songs has always been a way for me to express myself and be as vulnerable and open as I want to be without like being afraid of it. Fine tuning the words. <laughs> Kate sang this song in an audition tape for the Honor Series Choir at Carnegie Hall and the Sydney Opera House. The 17-year-old was accepted to both programs. No, I didn't register in my brain until like two weeks later. <laughs> Honored about the invite, Kate credits her middle school choir teacher for helping her get to a higher note. I had like all this preparation and he really encouraged me to like really push myself, like audition for like all region and stuff like that. I caught up with Anthony Fuller at Robinson Middle School in West Little Rock. It's humbling for me. Um, I always think that I am not doing much when I'm here, but obviously I'm doing something. And so it is, it made my heart go from about this to bit, this big whenever I got the news. Fuller says when someone like Kate is that motivated, all it takes is a little bit of encouragement. She did, she took it and ran. And so obviously she did exactly what she was supposed to do. She has since taken part in theater and the arts and is an honors choir. Kate does a lot of this before and after school. I, I wasn't expecting to get in. I thought, I was like, oh, this will be a fun thing, like if it works out. And then getting accepted into both was a really huge deal for me. An accomplishment that proves. And the dreams you dare dream really do come true. In Little Rock, I'm Suzanne Bruner. <laughs> Kate will sing at Carnegie Hall in New York next month. In the summer, she will perform at the Sydney Opera House, which you all know is in Australia. But needless to say, I'm extremely proud of all of her hard work. She has earned it, and uh, it's nice that she's being recognized for her hard work. I remember her when she was two. Two. I know. <laughs> Can you believe that? Now no. she's 17. I am yeah. very happy for her. So happy for her, and well deserved. She's such a good kid. She loves to sing. Yeah, she does. And write music, and act, and <laughs> sing, and dance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, today, Little Rock, tomorrow, Hollywood. Right. <laughs>